Hey guys, thank you so much for choosing to work out with Coco Lime Fitness today. I do really appreciate your support. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. I do try to make new workouts every single week as long as my health holds out. So I couldn't wait to record this routine for you guys today because we're finally going to do a low impact, medium intense version of the scientific seven minute workout. Now this one has been specifically designed for people dealing with mobility issues or chronic health problems, but it is great for any fitness level because it's super effective, but it won't stress your body out. So this is a body weight workout. All you're gonna need is a good pair of supportive shoes, a squishy mat, and tons of water. So come join me, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I have not included a warm up or a cool down with this routine. So please, by all means, add that to this workout so you don't stress your body out too much or cause any unnecessary injury. I'm gonna put one in the card above. If you've already done your warm up, then come join me. We are going to do 30 seconds on of each exercise with just a few seconds in between to transition to the next exercise. I'm going to show you modifications for any move that needs it. So as always, please listen to your body and don't do any exercises that cause you any pain. Okay, so let's get started with our first 30 seconds. We're gonna do low jumping jacks. Here we go. Now, because this is low impact, I need you to make each of these moves really big. I don't wanna see like a little floppy arms here. Make each movement big, full range of motion. Go quick, it's only 30 seconds. You can do it. Seven minutes, that's all it takes. So you gotta put your all. Great, march it out. Okay guys, the next move is a stationary squat. I'm gonna show you from the side here. So come down, make sure that your knees do not go past your toes. If you can't come down this low without your knees going past your toes, then you can come up a little bit higher. Or if you're just having a lot of pain in your knees, you can come up here, but keep it as low as you can here because that's where the work happens. You should feel a huge burn right here in your quads and your booty, so it's amazing. Great job, march it out, keep going. Okay guys, next move, we're gonna come down on the floor. If you have wrist issues, grab your weight. If you don't have wrist issues, don't even worry about it. We're gonna do knee push-ups. Here we go. Now again, you can just do normal knee push-ups if you don't have wrist issues, or if you're feeling extra spicy today, and you're not too tired or fatigued, you can do full push-ups, of course. Hold your abs in. Make these good, a few seconds left. Come on, come on, you can do it. One more. Woo, okay, stretch it out. Move those weights to the side, moving on. Okay guys, next exercise on your back, we're gonna do crunches. Make sure that your low back is on the floor. You know what to do. Exhale at the top. Inhale as you come down, squeeze those abs. And did you know that the more you focus on the muscles you're working, the more you actually work the muscles? It's crazy, it sounds weird, I know, but there's been many studies done that have shown this, so please focus on your abs. Focus on that six pack. Great, coming up. Okay guys, now we're gonna do standing knee pulls, get that heart rate up, we're gonna do cardio drill here. Here we go. Pull. The quicker you go, the better. I'm gonna show you from the side, so if you make your back into a T-curve, you work those low abs just a little bit more. We love those bonus moves. Come on, exhale. Come on, you can do it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Bring those arms up high, pull them down. Reach towards the ceiling. Woo, march it out. 
Okay guys, we're gonna do tricep push-ups. Now, if you have wrist issues, go back into a push-up position on your knees, doing tricep push-ups with those weights, okay? So keep going. I'm gonna show you the modification. It's hard to get moving here, isn't it? Okay, modification, your arms are close together. Okay, and you're gonna come down and do a tricep push-up. Of course, with these, you can't go quite as fast. Woo! Okay, push those weights aside. Okay, come back onto your back. We're gonna do bridges. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath already. Here we go. Squeeze it up and then come halfway down. Again, focus on those glute muscles. Focus on getting a nice, tight, round booty. I know that's what I want. I've been doing squats every day if I can get that. I'll keep you guys posted on my progress, but yes, that's the goal. So make these bridges count. You should be either heavy breathing or out of breath a little bit right now. Who said? Low impact, medium intensity doesn't work. Not me. Okay guys, you're gonna come onto elbow plank. Here we go. Now, you can stay here the entire time, but make sure that your body is flat like a board, your butt's not up or tipped down. If this is too challenging for you, you can drop one knee down to support or both knees, okay? Hold it up in, you can do it, it's only 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Great work. Okay guys, now we're gonna go into a back lunge. We're not gonna do the forward lunge, it's too hard on the knees. Stationary, you're just gonna go down and up. Again, watch your knee so it doesn't pass your toe. Go past your toe. Yes, I think I'm getting tired. Squeeze your booty every time you come up. If you wanna make it harder, coming those arms up. If you wanna make it easier, just have less range of motion right here. But try to challenge yourself a little bit. You got it. Woo, okay. Woo. March it out, we gotta do the other leg. Okay guys, other leg, let's hurry, let's get right into it. Here we go. Down and up, squeeze your butt. Again, modification, you can go just a little range of motion here or no arms, totally fine. Come on, you can do it. Think about those nice tone legs. No more jiggly, no more. Hold your abs in. Whew. Oh my goodness, okay. Last exercise, you're gonna come down on the mat. Okay, we're gonna do side planks on our elbows so as to not hurt our wrists. You can come up here on both your feet or you can drop one knee down. Here we go. Here we go, up. Don't forget to breathe. Make sure everything's lifted. Pull those abs in. Pull your obliques up. Yes, you got it. Come on. You guys should be like starting to sweat already. If you're not, you're better. You're better than me, I tell you what. Come on, you can do this. Okay, I lied, we have one more side to do, so it's actually four exercises, but you got this. Okay, let's do this side. Here we go. Remember, you can come up on your toes or the sides of your feet or drop one knee down to support. Here we go. If you don't have wrist issues, you can do any of the planks with full arm extension, straight arm extension. That's totally fine. Come on, pull it in, pull it up. Last exercise and you did it. This is your go-to workout, do anywhere workout. Come on, no more excuses. Oh wow, 
That was amazing. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to stretch and cool down after this workout. And if you want to see changes in your body, you do need to add, you know, reps or intensity or frequency to your workout if you want to see a change. So if you guys feel amazing after this for the next two days and you feel like you can do more, next time you do this workout, do two sets of this or three sets of this. Or if you don't want to do that, just make each exercise a little more challenging for your body. So thanks again. If you guys like this workout, please leave comment and thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have an amazing, energetic, stress-free day. See you next time. Take care. So today I just couldn't wait to... Okay guys, other side. Go down. Wait. Yes, okay. I can't remember. <clears throat>